Greetings and welcome to a new video. I hope you are all doing well. So we have a few jailbreak updates. The first good news is that sandbox escape has been achieved based on KFT and you may see a release for files escaped based on KFT in the future. So the developer for files are escaped has able to read and write using the KFT as you can see the file manager right here and he was able to create a file and write to it as you can see it right here so a big step forward all without a jailbreak also in this tweet you can see that you will be able to browse the file system using kft you can see the demo video right here where you can see the word directory right here and we have the mobile directory library data and containers and applications secondly guys we have an update regarding Neko jailbreak progress. I already made detailed videos about Neko jailbreak. They are in the description and in the pinned comment if you want to check them out first. This jailbreak is for A11 and lower devices up to 16.6 beta 1 all the way down to iOS 15.0. So guys as you can see in this tweet the kernel read write handoff has been achieved for the Neko jailbreak which means that it will allow low level access to devices kernel to make this a successful jailbreak so it is another step forward in the development of neko jailbreak also as you can see it on your screen the neko jailbreak got a new icon also you will be able to pick alternate icons from the option in settings to select whichever you want last but not the least we have another update to Pungu OS for check rain which fixes APFS mount patch as you can see this change was made six hours ago as of September 6 2023 with one change file with 29 additions and 11 deletions as you can see it right here that's all for this video I will see you in a new video goodbye and take care